Since the invention of the undergarment, man was destined to be wedgied. Hi, it's me, Houston Jones, world-renowned scientist and professional wedgie enthusiast. And much to my dismay, the science behind wedgies has yet to be fully explored. This is pretty weird. Yeah, anyways, I'm just here to tell you to like the video. Which is why I, Houston Jones, stand proudly before you laying my anus on the line in order to answer the age-old question, just how much can a wedgie be wedged? That's right, Bro Labs is back, baby! The series where I answer the questions that nobody has ever asked. And in today's episode, I'm gonna give myself the most painful wedgie ever wedged. But before we do that, we gotta do a baseline test, you know, to see just how bad a regular wedgie can be. So, my lab assistants, Mark and Jake, come on in. Come hither, all right? Now it's quite simple, I want you to grab the underwear and hike it up as far as you can. On three, ready? One, two, three. Harder! <laughs> <laughs> kind of felt like Jesus for a second there, I was levitating. So we got this much wedged. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it was just like vaguely uncomfortable. I got some strong glutes for a scientist. So, let's, do the rest of the video? Now, I'm sure you're all dying to know how I'm gonna give myself the most painful wedgie of all time. Well, with the power of science, we have created the ultimate wedgie machine. You see, it uses the power of gravity, okay? It's weight powered. We have hooks that will hook onto my underwear. The weight will drop, and then it will hike my underwear to the sky, ideally lifting me into the air, giving me the ultimate wedgie of History, you know? Uh, I'll be honest though, we haven't tested it, uh, so I have no idea how this is gonna work. As you see, a lot of science is happening here. We have a lab assistant, uh, Jake, hooking me into the contraption. Happy to be here. You know, I would like to imagine this is how uh, the astronauts feel before they get launched into space. This is part of their testing. Yeah, because I really feel like this is a, has a rocket type, uh, you know, trajectory. If I don't fly through the ceiling, I'll be kind of disappointed. We only got 95 pounds on the bar. We're just going to drop it on three, see what happens. One, two, two three. Oh! What do you think? You're heavier than 95 pounds. The question is, can I run away from this? The answer is no, I can't get away. So this is the scientific process of the world's uh, worst wedgie. It's just two men. Trying to find holes. Trying to find holes. We've upped the weight to 235 pounds, which is more than me. I weigh 210 pounds. So if I don't levitate slightly, I'll be a little bit disappointed. All right, boys, on three. Oh. One, two, three. It's not too bad. <laughs> the question is, <gasps> ow, hold on. You could almost wear that as a dress. Science. Um, as you can see, the underwear maintained position pretty nicely. Now before we go any further, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, The Rich. For those of you that don't know, the Ridge Wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket and has seriously changed my whole pocket situation. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s and carrying around old receipts, gift cards, and other things in an unorganized mess. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards, plus has room for cash. There are over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. I really love mine, but don't take my word for it. Listen to their over 40,000 five-star reviews. The Ridge even comes with a lifetime warranty, which means you could buy this one wallet and carry it for life. Also, the Ridge team is so confident you'll like it that you can try the wallet for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Father's Day is coming up and the Ridge makes a great gift. You can shop the Father's Day guide on the site and find the best gear for your dad. Now I got some great news for all you lucky sons of guns watching. You can get 10% off today your very own Ridge products by going to theridge.com slash Houston. That's theridge.com slash Houston and use code Houston. The link for that will be down in the description below. 
We have upped the weight. We are now at 400 pounds. This is all the weight I own. Which, uh, if this isn't the most forceful wedgie of all time, I'll tell you what, I'll be really disappointed. Just gutted. I don't think I'll ever film a video again, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just rip straight. Wait, what? <laughs> the problem was uh, the waistband wasn't securely uh, strapped on there. So now that that is happening, this should go without a hitch. I would imagine. Hold on, let me adjust my testicles real quick. Go. Ah! Go. Ah! It's not too bad. The wedgie. Uh, we gotta go deeper. <laughs> We need to go deeper. We need to go deeper. Huh? It's a swing. We made a swing. Uh, have you ever seen a pair of underwear wedged so hard that this is what's left? This was two pairs. That's my underwear. <laughs> a lot of science is happening here. Okay, we learned that with 400 pounds, the wedgie is too forceful, okay? It doesn't wedge properly. So what we have done is we have now put the clip through the shorts and the underwear, all right? More fabric. So ideally, it just doesn't tear and it wedges more, right? I concur with this statement. It should work. I don't like this. Ah! Ah! It's, oh my God, it's uncomfortable. Ah! Okay, I can stand on my tippy toes, it's all right. All right, Houston, we're gonna head out. Yeah, we so. Hold on, guys, come, <laughs> guys, come back here, hold on. We'll okay. see you later, guys, have a good uh, one. Hold on, though. I gotta talk, I gotta talk numbers. <laughs> <laughs> So what I've uh, learned from that wedgie, very effective, uh, first off. Second, uh, a lot of pressure gets put on the, the old hips there. A, a very uncomfortable amount of pressure. Now, you might be wondering about my butt crack. Actually, it felt great. We're learning a lot, okay? A lot of knowledge is being passed around and uh, we're at a critical stage of the experiment, okay? We used some very stretchy, cheap cargo shorts. I got some elevation. Now, what we have done since then is we have raised the hook slightly and I put on some sweet denim jeans, okay? These things are tight and taut. Ideally, these won't rip like the previous uh, things we've been doing. It'll just hoist me up perfectly, giving me the ultimate wedgie. We'll all be excited. Now, guys, this is a very important. Safe words are gonna be Avocado giraffe, okay? If I say avocado giraffe, quickly save me. Is that two words? Safe words, that's why I said safe words. You're an idiot. Go. 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 How's it hanging? Dude, you look great in those jeans, man. Look at how tight those things are. Look at Superman over here. Dude. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, this is extremely uncomfortable. But the question is, can I escape this on my own? Oh, this is gonna end badly. This is ending perfectly, Garrett, as all things should end. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm stuck. Hold on. He went from Superman to Spider-Man. <laughs> And he looks good doing it. Okay. This is uh, Scientist Jacob, clinical trial 772 under Houston Jones Laboratory. Uh, test subject experienced high velocity, uh, minimum impact to the material, looking to increase threshold of wedgie. Yeah, that sounded about right. The amount of knowledge that has entered my brain during the filming of this experiment is out of this world. Now, we have reached the pinnacle of this experiment, the finale, if you will. What we have done is we have put a clip to the front of 
my jeans in underwear, as you can see, and then another one to the back. So it uniformly wedges me perfectly up in the front and back. That way I'm not leaning. And ideally, this will be the best wedgie of them all. Hopefully. Oh my God, Zach, oh my God. No, hold on. Hold on, let me hang for a second and evaluate. Yes, hit me like a pinata. Are you ready to play baseball? Oh, for wedgie. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Something in there? No, that's just his ass. What are you thinking right now? Well, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, my left testicle is smushed and it's very uncomfortable. If this is not the most forceful wedgie of all time, I'll be surprised. Oh my God. Uh, oh my, okay. Oh. oh. No, it's all fine. I'll just hoist my nuts sack. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta readjust. Oh, oh my.